got three mystery boxes for you today. We're going to do a Marvel uh, Collector Core box. We're going to do one from Geek Fuel. And then we're going to do one from the Nerdy News. I've been trying to grab one from her for a long time. I finally got one. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to Papa's Toy Shop. I'm Tony. This is my daughter Hannah. What? I'm preparing. <laughs> I'm not going to scare you. Although you're easily scareable. That's but. what they always say. So anyway, i uh, got a good video for you guys today. got a, about three mixed tree boxes we're going to do. Uh, the first one we're going to do is the uh, Marvel Collector Core box. The Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings. Um, I haven't seen the movie yet. I'm hoping to see it is here pretty soon. Um, of course, it's a Marvel movie. It's got to be good. So let's open her up and see what Dad, we got. Wait, are you eight plus? I think so. Are you? Yeah. Well, are you though? <laughs> As All right. five pieces. All right. What do we got? Shirt. First thing we got is a red T-shirt. It should be size 3XL, because that's as large as they make it, even though it does not fit me, because I wear a 4XLT, so that's what it looks like. So, Red. oh, that's pretty cool. Of course, it's got Shang-Chi, I'm assuming that's him, and that girl, and that girl. I don't know the character's name yet, like I said, I have not seen the movie yet, so. All right, pretty nice t-shirt, good heavyweight quality. I mean, this is better than what they usually have. Usually it's really super thin. This one's actually a good heavyweight t-shirt. So, next. Sticker. We have a sticker. I don't know what that is. I have no clue what that is. It does not have a head. A head. It looks like it's a butt with wings. I really have no idea what that is. Okay, next. Pin. We have a pin. That looks like some type of um, maybe a dragon, dragon, a uh, dragon head or something like that. So, anyway, pretty cool looking pen. And next, that we have the uh, the uh, cheat sheet, but also shows the coming soon as the next box will be the Eternals, which that movie just ha has recently come out, and I have not get gotten to see that one yet either. So we'll hang on to that till the very last. So. Next, we have the Funko Pops, I believe. Just turn them on. There you go. All right. First off, we have Shang Chi, and this is the Collector Core Edition. It actually came in very, very good shape. Don't see any damage to it whatsoever. He's in that classic fighting stance. And next, we have Xiling. And she's got the casual, just standing there, hanging out stance. So, of course, both Marvel Collector Core. So, let's see what this says. It says, Shang-Chi is bringing martial arts to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and we're kicking things off with the Amazon-exclusive Marvel, Amazon Marvel Studios Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Collector's Box. You'll receive Shang-Chi... Xiling as a pop bobbleheads, which you know all the uh, Marvel pops are all bobbleheads. It was something that they that Funko and Marvel worked out. Uh, an action-packed character T-shirt plus a Morris decal and the Great Protector pin. I guess Morris is a butt with wings. That's sure what it looks like to me. So, hmm. all right. Wait, did it say collector pin or decal? This is the pin. Well, yeah. Did it that, say Morris? That's Morris is the decal. Yeah, decal. Oh, okay. So, I all right. Heard. We'll set those to the side. That is the collector core. Next, we have Geek Fuel. And I believe this is from a couple months ago. I've kind of gotten behind on doing my my uh, boxes. So, there we go. Which I enjoy these Geek Fuel boxes. They always seem to have really neat stuff in it. I mean, you never know what they're going to have. Usually have a pretty quality t-shirt and then some other neat stuff too, so. Alright, what do we got? A t-shirt. Oh, I see it says the Fellowship of a Saga for the Ages. A Geek Fuel 5XL. 
Sometimes it, these are taut long enough for me to be actually to be able to wear them. This one looks like it might. It's Zelda, isn't it? And, no, Lord of the Rings. No, it's Lord of the Rings. Uh, Lord of the Rings. From it's, back in the uh, early ages. Uh, is that that Eye of Sauron? Sauron. 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 All right, well, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think this is from uh, the Nintendo. You should keep it. So that's pretty nice. If it fits me, I'll, I'll wear it. It should fit me fat-wise, but I don't know about height-wise, so we'll have to see. You're too tall. Next. It's a book. We have a little book that says the complete covers Detective Comics. It says, explore the history of Batman in, his, in this miniature art book showcasing the covers of the first 300 Detective Comics covers ever published. So it has all the comic covers, comic mm -hmm. book covers. That's actually pretty cool. Huh. Oh, is that why it's called DC Detective Com Comics? Or? Yes. Ooh. So that's really cool. If you didn't like it as a book, you could cut those out and make a nice mosaic poster or something out of it. So huh, that's really cool. Next. I'm not a, really a DC fan, though, but still. It's a and now we have a In Pen Pals. Pals that's a Pizza Hut. No one can have Pizza the Hut. <laughs> exactly. Or Pizza the Hut. From Spaceballs. Let's open it up and see what the pen looks like. It says Book It. That's not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting like a pizza box or a piece of pizza. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean at all. I don't get it either. So it usually has a cheat sheet in there, so I'll have to take a look and see what it says. But I don't get that one. Hopefully it's not one of those woke things. So anyway, next. You're always a fairy. Oh, it's a stuffed Harry Potter. It's a Harry Potter plush. I guess it's a Warner Brothers QM brand so huh, that's pretty cool he even has a little scar on his head well every harry potter plush and has that's it that's all that's in there yep huh. harry potter cute pals plush the eight bits to rule them all exclusive t-shirt it's a 25 dollar value that's a 20 dollar value i doubt that's 20 dollars the detective comics the complete covers volume one mini book value 12 dollars there's a Looks like it came with a bookmark in there, too. A Pen Pals Book It enamel pen. What does it say about it? I want to say we did it for the love of literature, but I'm pretty sure it had more to do with the four personal slices of cheesy goodness we got by reading a handful of books. Either way, it was pure marketing genius. Enjoy this month's exclusive pen depicting the ultimate book club for kids. Every gold star was one step closer to a night out with family and friends from the checkered tablecloth to the oversized red soda cups I can almost taste the sweet sweet victory of dominating a 36 page picture book huh I don't remember that I remember going to Pizza Hut quite a bit and getting my own personal pan pizza and everything like that uh, main reason we went to Pizza Hut because Pizza Hut served beer and uh, so I don't know I don't remember that at all uh, this says on the back, it says coming in October, we have, um, it says Mondo, Ghostbusters, um, the Monster Squad, and Pen Pals on it. So, looks like we're going to have a pretty neat oh, wait. next version. Could that have been The Hobbit? Because it says Hogwarts, Hobbits, and Heroes. Well, Hobbits are in Lord of the Rings, too. Well, so yeah, but could that It could have been The Hobbit, Hobbit instead yeah. of Lord of the Rings, but, but yeah, huh, pretty cool. I said, I really like the Geek Fuel boxes. They usually do a pretty good job. So, all right. Last but not least, we have a mystery box from the Nerdy Newt. Uh, I've seen a lot of these boxes opened up. I don't remember off the top of my head what the price point was on this. I know it wasn't that expensive. I can't afford to buy those high dollar ones that Clint does over there on Franchise Kicks. But I've seen him open several boxes, and she always has really good boxes. Uh, it just says, you know, it has a big old fragile handle with care sticker on it. So, all right, there we go. I'll let you open it up and we'll see what we got in here. I'll go back and look up the price point and I'll put that down at the bottom of the screen down here somewhere so you can see what I paid for the box and then we'll see what 
you know, how well I did. I don't like tape very much. It probably doesn't like you either. Well, good. So before you do that, though, we want to do what, what they all do. Take this out, and we're going to feel around. Don't look. And we're going to feel for there's one pop protector, two pop protectors, three pop protectors, four pop protectors. So we have four pops, no hard stacks. Hard. So we have a card. It says the nerdy, nerdy newt to tag us. And there's no way of knowing which is the best one in the box, so Sorry. we'll just have to go by what one at a time. So. Apologies, I am tired. I've been yawning. All right, so first off, it says Avatar. This is the Blue Spirit, and this is just the regular one from Hot Topic. Uh, I did have the Glow in the Dark um, Chase one, but I've, I just recently sold it. So but there we go. We have the Blue Spirit from Hot Topic. Next. We have Venomized Kingpin, which is a Funko Shop exclusive. Uh, this one took a long time to sell out, so I don't think this one holds as good a value as some of the Funko Shop ones. So, there's that one. Next. We have It's a Small World, Mexico. Um, I actually have the uh, actual Virtual Funcon sticker. Uh, this is the shared sticker from this year's Virtual Funcon that happened. Uh, Back at the end of August, September, something like that. I don't remember. But anyway, there's Mexico from It's a Small World. And last but not least, we have the Blue Raspberry Slushy from 7-Eleven. So, pretty cool. Uh, we don't have a 7-Eleven in our area. We had one a long time ago, but it's been gone for years. But uh, we don't have one around here, so I never get a chance to pick up ones like that. So... All right, well, let's take a look and see what kind of value we have. We'll start off with that one, which is, oh, I can't scan because it has a Hot Topic sticker on it. has the sticker on there, so we'll type in Blue Spirit. 1002. All right. And it still shows a pretty good value. Uh, it still shows a value of $19. So, next. It's the Mexico one. And it is the shared sticker, shows a current value of $15. So let me get my calculator out. Where'd my calculator go? My calculator has disappeared. There oh, there it is. You have two calculators. Okay, so $15, and what was the first one? Eight, 18, 19. $19. I remember. Okay, and back to Hobby DB. Now uh, let's do this one first. Oh. I'm tired. And we have Venomized Kingpin. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright, Venomized, Venomized Kingpin. Falco Shop exclusive has a current PPG, PPG value of $14. So, yeah, he's pretty much, I mean, they cost $15 when you buy it, so he's not even worth what the cost of it at retail is. So, all right. And the very last one we have is the blue slushy, blue raspberry slushy from 7 Eleven. And it's still thinking. Give it a yeah, it's still thinking. There we I go. Know. Blue Raspberry Slurpee Glitter. This isn't the glitter. Yeah, it no, is. It, is. Never it says mind. glitter on there. That's and it shows cool. a current value of $30. That's pretty nice. So that's not too bad, giving us a grand total of $78. If I remember right, I think the box was $75, but I'm not positive on that. So we basically broke even. But uh, still, pretty nice. At least I got a pop that I I probably would have never gotten unless it came in a mystery box. So, still pretty good, look, pretty good pop pops. Uh, I'm not sure what pop protectors these are. They they seem decent though. They're not like the Ecotex. You actually, this one's in a uh, pop shield, seven bucks a pop. One, the other ones are just regular ones. So, all right, there we go.
Uh, I guess I could look and see if the Shang-Chi ones have any value to them yet. They're still pretty new, so they may not actually show anything, but we'll, we'll scan them and see. Alright. Shang-Chi, he shows actually $37, so that's, that's actually good. really good. The, the cost of the box itself is 29 so that's actually a pretty good return. And let's try uh, Zingling or Xiling. Xiling, whatever her name is. And she has a value of 18 so that's not too bad. That's a pretty good return on the, on the Amazon box. So, all right, there we go. Um, that's the video. Hope you guys have liked it. Uh, we're going to get the video ended here so Hannah can go to bed. Yeah, I'm really So she tired. can't stop yawning. I can't. But uh, if you like the video, make sure you click that like button down below. Uh, let me know that you like it. Leave us some comments. Um, and if you, if you like the video well enough, I hope you'll subscribe to the video. Uh, the more subscribers I get, I can get to the point where I can start giving away more pops like I did before. Uh, I've given away two pops so far. I'm willing to give away... I'll give away all the ones you want as, as long as I hit those hit those levels. So, and once I hit that thousand point where I got a thousand subscribers, I'll give away a pretty expensive pop. You know, it's all for you. For you. Are you done? No. <laughs> all right. Make sure you click that subscribe button and click that little bell that tells you that there's a new video out. Um, We've had a pretty good day here in Ozark, Missouri. I hope you guys have had a pretty good day yourself, and we'll see you next time.